This week, former President Donald Trump announced his class action lawsuit against Big Tech. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube banned his accounts after inciting the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. The lawsuit calls for declaring Big Tech as a state actor for infringing on Trump's First Amendment rights, declaring Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act as unconstitutional, the reinstatement of Trump's banned accounts, and unspecified punitive damages. Here's why the Trump Big Tech lawsuit will fail. Over 99% of you who watch my videos are not subscribers. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. The lawsuit wants a judge to declare it Big Tech as a state actor for infringing on Trump's First Amendment right. The U.S. Constitution is a contract between the government and the people. The Supreme Court ruled that corporations are people in 2010. That would include Big Tech. People claiming that Big Tech infringed on their First Amendment rights got it wrong. Only the government can infringe on someone's constitutional rights. Without the intervention of a friendly judge, Trump has no legal standing to sue Big Tech. That's why legal experts are declaring the lawsuit dead on arrival. The lawsuit wants a judge to declare Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act of 1996 unconstitutional. Section 230 has 26 words that gave birth to the Internet. No provider or user of an interactive computer service shall be treated as a publisher or speaker of any information provided by no information content provider, which means that Big Tech has legal liability protection from what their users post on their platforms. If someone doesn't like what someone else posted on Facebook, they can't sue Facebook in a court of law. It's very unlikely that a court would find Section 230 unconstitutional. If they did, Big Tech could shut down the U.S. operations to avoid legal liability. Americans would have to use VPN to access Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube from outside of the U.S., something many international users do to access Big Tech outside of the country. That's not a far-fetched scenario. Big Tech threatened to quit Hong Kong if a new anti dawson law leaves their employees at risk for criminal charges. Granted that Hong Kong is a city-state inside China with a small population, Big Tech could be big enough to ditch the U.S. market and continue on with a worldwide user base. What's the real reason behind the Trump Big Tech lawsuit? When it comes to conservative politics, you must follow the money. Trump and Republican fundraisers cash in immediately after filing the lawsuit. Never mind that none of the money will go towards the lawsuit. We've seen this before. Over 60 lawsuits filed across the U.S. after the 2020 presidential election. Most of the money going to Trump and the Republican National Committee. All the lawsuits failed to overturn the election results. No amount of money would have changed that. The Trump Big Tech lawsuit is another money grab. What if the Trump Big Tech lawsuit gets a day in court? That could put Trump into a difficult position during the sworn disposition proceedings. Big Tech would ask some questions about the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. He would be stepping into a legal trap of his own making that would be worse than the court dismissing the lawsuit. That's it for today's show. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.